comes out of that uh, Madame Blueberry animal that a lot of you guys are probably familiar with. Road, this is probably my nicest Jaguar. Um, this is a 75% a diamond jungle cross that I hatched out. And I have bred this snake a couple of times this year, but I, unfortunately I just don't think that, that she's going to be gravid for me this time around. Um, this is a pair of, of, uh, of snakes that I'm trying to breed right now. This is uh, Sire number 25. You guys have probably seen him on my website before. He's an old boy. He's about 14 now. And I have him in here with this 88% diamond that uh, uh, I, I got him from a guy named Jim in Virginia. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be a pairing that's going to work out. These are some really nice snakes, and I think they'll make some some of the best you know jungle crosses or diamond crosses yet. Uh, this is a a tiger carpet that I got from Anthony Caponetto. Uh Again, not going to breed this year, and probably next year. Okay, this is a, a tiger jaguar that was produced by Will Leary. Um, this snake's about two years old. As you guys can see, it's growing up. It's taking full-size rats. She's a real nice snake. Down here we have another, uh, you can see this snake is lounging. I, I believe this snake is gravid. You can see that it's it's tucked around the water bowl. It's laying on its back. It's This is a, a kind of a typical uh, stance for a gravid snake. You can see in the back left corner, there's a striped jaguar back there. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to produce some, some, uh, you know, 88% diamond jungle jaguars. So uh, that's what's going on with this. And you know, she does appear to be gravid, but I just want to leave that male in there just to to make sure that that it happens. Hopefully, it will. This is a snake that laid the the eggs down there. I bred this with that same striped uh, jaguar that's down there. In the other cage I just showed you. There's a uh, female jungle in here that I got from Brad McCarthy. Uh, this snake is not going to be able to uh, produce for me this year, but next year she'll be sure to go. This is a cage that I, I built with the help of Robin Saunders, and uh, you guys can see the really nice banded uh, jaguar in there. She's gravid right now, and uh, she was bred by this jungle that's sitting next to her. Now also uh, in this cage up here, I don't know if it's going to work out, but this is a, a jungle carpet that, that I hatched. This is a really nice animal, and she's potentially gravid as well. I'm not sure if, that, if it's going to work out or not. Now over here in some of these boa file cages, I have some of my uh, Brazilian rainbow boas. I really don't think that this is going to work out. The lighting's just too bad, so we'll kind of move on. Here's... Uh, the high contrast Queensland tiger that I got from from Anthony, and he has bred this uh, this kind of semi-striped diamond coastal carpet that I hatched out about three years ago. So I'm really hope this snake appears to be gravid right now, and I'm really hoping to get some some nice eggs from this pairing. Uh, down here I have several Erie and Giant carpets that are put together. These are from uh, the Gary Quirk line and from the Darren Bell line. This animal in the water bowl that appears to be gravid is from Darren Bell's line. So I'm hoping to get something there. This is a another Diamond Coastal Integrate that that should be gravid at this point and I'm hoping that she is. She also bred with a with a tiger. Okay, there's a, a pair of uh, Sorong Chondros that I got from R Rico Walder and they've been copulating. I hope that uh, to get something out of them. This is a, a snake that I got from Andrew Hare. It's a jungle carpet python. And uh, it's, just, it's a young female that I'm just hoping to raise up and, and have as a future breeder. She's a nice snake. Um, I have another snake that I got from Andrew as well. And that's this, this one here. This is another female jungle carpet that came out of his uh, Aeol Aeola line. Now down below here is another one of these high contrast Queensland Tiger carpets that I keep ranting about. These are really nice snakes. Uh, this is a, a young male that I'm raising up. Now next to him is another one of these just amazing 88% diamond carpet crosses. Um, sadly, this snake I, I bred with a 75% diamond. I saw many copulations. This snake swelled up as big as a balloon. She went off food. 
appeared to be gravid in every way. And uh, then last, uh, last night I noticed that she had just completely uh, absorbed all of her eggs and I put a rat in there and she ate it. So I don't think I'm going to get babies from this snake this year. It's going to be, it's going to be next year. Um, now I also have some, some other little snakes in this rack. Um, these are jaguars. This is one that, uh, one of the last ones I have left. This one's sold. This was a neat jaguar sibling that I got this year. And this is from that pair of jaguars that are downstairs. I showed you Bree, but this is kind of a, almost a fully striped jaguar sib. Real nice snake. It's a boy. I'm looking forward to raising it up. And let's see. I have a, a real nice yellow belly. And this snake is, is gravid, and I bred her with another yellow belly, so I'm hoping to get some, some ivory balls this year. I guess I haven't really gone into much of my ball python collection. I'll show that to you guys, too. This is a lemon uh, rat snake. This is one that I hatched many years ago, and it's, it's turning into a breeder now. I don't know if it wants to bite me or not. Go ahead. Okay. I have several other snakes that I can still show you guys. These are my Kentucky corn snakes. These, these are captive bred specimens. These snakes were hatched by Phil Peak. They're, this snake's in the blue. I'm looking forward to breeding these as soon as they uh, come out of their skin. This is another captive bred Kentucky corn female. Let's see. On to ball pythons. Let me see if I can make this work. Basically all the animals I'm getting ready to show you guys are from the Jolliffe snow line. They're all possible double heads for snow. Various combinations, this percent, that percent, all that kind of stuff. But I'm hoping to, to crank out a lot of uh, snows, albinos, azanthics, stuff like that. Here's, a, here's my albino female. She's the mother of, uh, of those banded ones that I showed you all earlier. Really nice albino. Um, gosh, you know, this, this video doesn't look like it's coming out good, so I guess I'm going to have to skip my ball pythons. But basically I have several racks just, that are just full of them. Um, I do have some, some baby racks that have some things going on. Here's a little pure diamond python that I hatched out. This is the only male that I got. And this is this is a snake that I'm holding back for myself. Um, I have a lot of, of young jungle carpets that are kind of coming up. Um, gosh, I hate to hear that the uh, this doesn't do them justice or whatever, but it really doesn't. The light's bad in here. But uh, these are young ones and they're just they're starting to color up. Got a lot of uh, of ball pythons that are coming up as well that are that are head for albino. This is a real nice gold one that I hatched out. I uh, got some some nice children's pythons too from Chris Gibson, and uh, they're, they're growing up and coming along. You see, it's got a big meal in it. Let's walk around to the other side to my other tower and see what else I have over here. I believe I have a lot of these these young Brazilian rainbow boas that are coming along. Let's see if I can show these to you guys. They're really pretty. Nice red ones. Got a whole rack full of these right now. Let's get this up. Uh, here's a real nice striped black rat snake that uh, Pete Lindell picked up for me at the Daytona show here about a year ago. Nice snake. I don't know if you guys are familiar with my lemons. Here's a little baby. Lemon black rat. They look kind of white right now, but as they mature, they, they turn a yellow color. And here's a, a nicer, kind of a banded looking little jungle that I'm holding back for myself. Real nice snake. <laughs> 